Hello everyone, and welcome back to some more Dragon Quest VIII. I've decided before we go off exploring beyond Arcadia, we're going to quickly nip back to the Mystical Spring and see if Medea has any anything new to say, because we have had a few story things happen, uh, particularly involving Jessica, so I'm just curious to see if she is going to uh, have any thoughts on current affairs. Uh, I didn't actually... Well, I suppose it doesn't really matter. Let Medea drink from the str uh, from the sp I nearly said string, spring. Yes, I'm a little bit groggy today, guys. I've just woken up, so I will be sipping my tea as we watch this lovely scene unfold. I can't believe it. After everything you did, after defeating Dormagus. I'm still cursed! I know, it sucks. So what will we do now? I don't know. I heard that Jessica disappeared. Do you have any idea where she went? I hope she's alright. Uh, I mean... Alright. She's alive. She's she's looking a little bit different these days and sounding a little bit different these days, but she's still... She's still kicking. Oh, okay. Well, that was... That was incredibly brief. But then again, these scenes usually are. Uh, but I just wanted to check in on her. Because that's what friends do. We don't want to leave her being a horse all the time. And, uh, right, so, let's go back to Arcadia. I don't... I don't think... I don't think there's anything at this point in the game I really want to do other than kind of press on with the story again. We're, we're kind of at a bit of an awkward point. We're, we're definitely not at full strength. And I just wanna just wanna get through this next part of the game as quickly as possible. Although I did say the place we're heading to now is actually really freaking awesome. I love this next dungeon so so much. Although I'm probably gonna uh, struggle with it a little bit because it has been a while. It's incredibly cool. And uh, yeah, so our, our quest is still to get the Cran Spinels for Dominico and uh, the, the chap that is uh, the person to speak to isn't in town right now. So that's why we are heading off into new lands, a new continent, which um, just looks lovely. I, oh, a notorious monster straight away. And it is an archer. Let's go see what you're all about. So again, as far as... Um, monsters go and recruiting them. I'm not really going to worry about that right now. I'm going to wait till this whole situation is resolved one way or another. Uh, and the poisonous sniper doesn't notice us, as usual. So he's, um, he's probably going to poison us. So we're going to call in the monster team. But yeah, I, um, I'm going to do some research on the monsters that I want to recruit, because I, I do want to try new combinations of monster team, because yes, we're going to get all the golems. That is an absolute certainty, because they are so unbelievably powerful. However, we can have two teams, and I want to kind of experiment with the other one. So, don't worry, chaps, we will get to that point. I'm probably going to dedicate, like, a, a whole video to it, honestly, once we uh, decide we're good enough to... Uh, Take on rank B, and god, that was an easy monster. Copper monster coin. Kind of crazy finding one this late in the game. Um, but you know what? His attack stat isn't terrible. Um, but, uh... No. <laughs> Sorry. I, uh, I don't really want to waste any bench space with something like that. Uh, let's, let's fight some of the critters around here. He was running away, so I'm guessing we may have already fought this thing. Robo-Robins? We might have already fought them? That's the problem with so many palette swaps. Even though there are tons of different enemies in this game, there are palette swaps. Uh, it's hard to keep track of which ones I've already tackled. Um, also, thank you to uh, a lot of people giving me your opinions on the whole Yangus skill point situation. I do think I'm going to spend 
those points into axes now. While his humanity skill tree would be amusing to max out, I don't think it's a... I don't think it's that useful. From what I've heard people say and from my limited memory, I think we're probably just gonna go into axes. Uh, and also try and max out scythes as well, because I'd like to use both. So uh, that's the plan. Uh, I can't remember how many skill points Yangus has at the moment, but I know we've got a few. So I think I'm going to spend those in a minute. Robo Robins defeated. Uh, right. Ooh, hello. That's a griffin kind of enemy. With me bandit pest in there, I've got a bit of an expert expert ease when it comes to the old jewels and treasure and stuff. But I ain't never heard of the cr uh, the span crinals or whatever they was called. Wow, the span crinals. I thought we'd have an easy ride for a while when we defeated Dormagus. Well, that was your first mistake, Angelo. It seems like it's got more bumpy, if anything. Nothing, nothing's ever simple with this little party of ours, is it? No, it is not. Uh, hmm, sometimes, uh, so, sometimes. Something peculiar has happened to Jessica, that's for sure. Attacking a town like that. What exactly? I have no idea. All we do now is... Um, all we do not... Oh my god, I really can't read any, any day. Can I? I just can't read. All we do know is that she'll be back, it seems. Yes, we must be careful not to miss her when she... Re yeah, I know. I think it's a really bad idea. Us being sent off like this. On a little mission. Little fetch quest. I have a very bad feeling, but we're going to fight this uh, Griffin thing. Griffin! They look cool. They look really cool. How tough are they going to be, though? Uh, we shall see. And some slowdown. Nice. God, it's really good, Yangus, being able to do 100 damage now with um, with his steel ability. That new scythe is very nice. Right, um, what was I going to do? What was I going to do? Oh yeah, spend... Uh, Yangus' skill points. Let me do that right now. Oh, he's only got eight. Okay, well, that's not really gonna get us much. We'll get the Helm Splitter ability. Um, and while, yeah, we don't actually have a decent axe on him right now, I am still tempted to try and make, um, what was it, the King? The King axe? I might have to look into that for next time. But, um,. Yangus, I always go with axes with him. There's some incredible abilities. Uh, particularly uh, axes of evil, I really like. Uh, Parallax is fantastic. Executioner. Oh my god. And well, to a lesser extent, Hatchet Man is the, the so good for grinding against those metal slimes. Uh, pretty much Yangus's thunder and lightning thrust. So... Uh, we will allocate those. Okay. Right, so it looks like we've got another type of golem. Got another type of hipster enemy. I always find it weird that you can't get devil tails from these guys, because they... They look like they've got devil tails, but... Swinging hipsters! Okay. Um, yeah, so we, as you as you see, we've learned Helm Splitter, but since we're not using an axe, we can't use the axe ability. So, that's fine, we don't really need to. Just thinking Angelo should probably heal himself. Okay. Yeah, nothing around here is going to be too particularly difficult. Uh, we will fight this golem chap. 
who is just a regular golem. Uh, I don't, have we fought a regular golem? I know we fought the gold ones, obviously. Have we fought... I don't know. This might be the first time we're coming across them. Uh, let's try and put him to sleep. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> he is asleep now. Forever. Yeah, other than showing off these new enemies, there's no real point in fighting any of them because we are, apparently, quite OP. Even though we did struggle a little bit against Dormagus, didn't we? That is such a difficulty spike, I'm telling you. Um, but we did it, and I'm still, I'm still kind of... Kind of happy that I did it at such a low level. Just hopefully made for a more interesting video. Any chests up here? I do love this region. Look at those trees. Oh, just, oh it's so good. Ooh, another notorious monster. It is a heal slime. Or a cure slime. This might be a useful one to grab. Because... Yeah, Angel of Curing. Ooh, I wonder. It's going to have some pretty nice uh, healing magic, of course, so I reckon we're probably going to add this to, a, to the team, depending on its stats, of course. But I think it's going to be worth it. I mean, it won't have amazing HP or anything, I don't think, but if it, if it can heal and actually do it more often than... Uh, Spike or Pori, then um, might be good. Also, it might have pretty nice evasion. Okay, he's not a pushover. He's definitely not a pushover. And he knows full heal. Oh my god, that is going to be so good. I mean, infuriating when we're trying to fight him, but still... Oh, he does have some good evasion as well. We definitely want you on the team, matey. Yeah, he's dodging a lot. Then again, enemies do tend to dodge the multi. Oh my god, you... You have a lot of MP as well. You can use multiple full heals. That makes me think I really should just psych up or something. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Angelo, who I can't wait to get to level 30. Heal yourself for now. Not that this thing's really going to do anything. Yeah, we'll psych up for a few rounds and hopefully kill it in one turn. This is a really fucking good cup of tea, by the way. I have outdone myself. Mmm. Sorry for slurping it down the microphone. <laughs> oh, I just need tea. Need to wake up. Right, let's go for it. Let's go. <laughs> right, okay, so Silver Monster Coin, he rises up again. Uh, Cura. So, yeah, his stats are not amazing, but he can use, I'm guessing, two, yeah, two full heals. So, could really save us. So, you are joining our bench. I'm probably going to replace Hori. I think. Um, we've got more trolls out here as well. Yeah, monster team. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to get rid of Hori. Um, although I might make a, a team purely with slimes, that'd be kind of cool. 
I don't know if uh, pairing him with the Cure Slime will do anything really, but um, let's try this for now. Having a proper healer on the team would be cool. Ooh, a new beetle enemy. An iron rhino. You're going to have quite a lot of defense, aren't you, matey? Right, let's call the monster team. Let's do it. Oh, look at him. He's so tiny compared to the other two. Okay, well, down he goes. So I assume, and I hope, that Cura is only going to use full heal when someone is pretty low on health. I'm going to hope that... I mean, from the battle that we had, it it seemed to, you know, use it pretty, uh, sort of, intelligently. So, that is uh, that is a good addition. Right. I do not see any chests. Some more Hackasaurus things, Hackzillas. Oh, there we go. Chimera! Oh, you're fast. That was a fast Chimera. Uh, we have seen you guys before. I'm gonna try and run. Oh, god damn it. They never run when I actually want them to. Well, that's, that's a lie. Sometimes they do. Well, that was a waste of a mid-heal, wasn't it? Let me run! Mid-heal all you want, that's fine. Wow, I don't know how I avoided that then. What do we have? A Titan Belt. Now, we just got a recipe involving that, didn't we? To make the uh, Mighty Omelet. Which we already have on Yangus, but that's cool. Uh, also, you can see something in the distance, my friends. What could it be? It's it's the tower. It, it's the tower we're going to. Uh, so, it is a bit of a ways away. Leave me be. I'm way too powerful for you guys. Freaking orc kings as well. No thank you. Let's do a quick uh, heal all. We have a few uh, photos to take once we get to the tower. Let's see if there's anything over this side. There's a lot of enemies. Anything going on? Oh, and since we're actually in a new region, I wonder if it's added more photos. No, it hasn't. It's interesting because usually in a new area, you'd have one of those kill 30 of a specific enemy photos, but not the case in this one, it seems. Yeah, I've, I've always loved this region. It's probably my favorite one. And just, just the... I don't know, I, this is going to sound really, really weird. I like the colour of the grass. I think it's really nice, with the trees and everything being so golden and brown. I don't know why. I like the colour of the grass, okay? Don't judge me. It's okay. It adds to the atmosphere of the area, and I appreciate it. It's not weird. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, did it? It just prevented my. Really? The only monster that can use magic, you prevented from using magic. Not that we're going to need it in this fight, but still. That, my friends, is what they call Sod's Law. Um, 
I kind of, yeah, you know what, we're just going to head straight to the tower. If we can. Is this the right way? Can we cut through here? Well, there's like a billion freaking enemies for some reason. Dodge. No, 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 no. Aha. There it is. Oh, this place is really, really fucking cool. And uh, probably going to take us a good while to get through. Is that a blue chest? No, it wasn't. Um, just seeing if there are any I can see. Nope. Do -do 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 -do. Ooh, a different kind of Draki. Draki Mars. Oh, we, we might have seen these actually. I don't know. That's a lot of them. That's a lot of dudes. Clean sweep. Grim Reaper. Uh, something, Angelo, do what you want. Oh yeah, they are, they are weak. Hardly worth fighting. Right, my friends, this is... Raiden's Tower. Those with, biz uh, those with business inside, insert the stone sword into the hole in the door. Well, good job we, uh, we've got one of those. Oh, these things! Mumbo Jumbos! Stop rolling. There we go. I want to fight you guys and I want you to transform. Yes, they're going to. There's all of them here. Nice. Uh, what are they called? Oh, this is the Jabberwocky. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll still... We're just going to defend, because I want to see them transform. I don't know what causes them to, whether they'll do it on their own, or if you have to weaken them or something. Oh. Oh, here we go. This is such a Dragon Ball thing. That looks pretty fucking cool. Doesn't that look really cool? <laughs> I mean, terrifying as well, but still. Uh, very nice. Let's see if we can steal anything. And I'll try and paralyze it. Nope. No dice. Holy shit. 151 damage, dude. Yeah, so maybe you don't actually want them to transform, although we didn't really have a choice. Uh, that's actually kind of worrying. Angelo, full heal, please. Okay, so maybe it, I think it just got lucky with a desperate attack or something. It's having an argument with itself. Yeah, so I assume the way it works is it, it gains all of, like, the individual monster's HP and just adds them together. So, it's still probably nearly dead. Uh, I could thwack it, but nah, we'll just uh, go for the old multi-shots. Yeah, they did have a lot of HP, but we defeated the Jabberwocky. And you don't really get that much for it, honestly. But at least we've shown it off. Anything? Let's pick up round here. No, I don't see anything. We'll quickly check the other side. And it's this lovely music again as well. It's this tower music. I'm telling you, tower dungeons and Dragon Quest are always my favorite. Uh, no, I don't... I don't see anything around here, unless it's really hidden around the corner. Nope, nothing. Okay. Yeah, this is really lovely music. Right, in we go. Oh, I actually have to use the item. No, I don't 
Actually, yeah, let's have a quick check. Crikey! Just looking at this tower does me head in. It's times like these when I'm really glad to have you around, Gav. The cliffs looked high enough already from the ship, didn't they? And now this! Top of the towers must reach the clouds. Yeah, it is uh, gonna take quite a while to ascend. Where's the sword? Uh, where is the sword? Hang on a minute. Uh, is it not an item we can use? We got it recently, so I would have thought it would be. Oh, did I um, did I sort my inventory? I may have done. Will it just be a stone sword? There we go. So we could actually use that as a weapon. But it'd be pretty crap. There we go. I wonder if you can use it in a recipe. Do we still have it, then? Is it still in our inventory? It is. Okay, I'll have to check. I There might be a recipe involved with it, but anyway. Right, um... We've got some statues that we can move, so... Guessing that will open the door when we do... Oh, two of them. Uh, and yeah, just look at this place. Very... I wonder... I, I can't remember why he's making this tower exactly. All right, bit of money. Yeah, this is going to be locked. No, it's not. Okay, um, never mind then. So what's the point of moving these these statues then? What is the point of moving these statues? I'm actually very confused. Why would we move these? Um... I have no idea. Is there any point to moving these statues? I think I'll just leave them where they are for now. Right, uh, before we go up the stairs, let's have a quick wander around, see if we find any chests. But uh, God knows how all these enemies got in here. Maybe they can open doors. Doesn't actually look like there is anything. No, okay. Anything under the, under the stairs? Nope. Right then, up we go. Oh, I wonder if this door will be locked. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Then I do not know what those statues are doing. Level, level two. Ooh, we got a slime. Hey. Squelch. It's no good. I can't move it, even if I push as hard as I can. Or maybe it's just tell it's kind of showing you that there will be statues you got to move in this tower. I actually don't remember. Um. Ah, I remember this. Yeah, do you remember the mention of Seesaw? Yeah, well, I'm probably going to see that in action in a minute. There's a switch over there, which will make that bridge drop down, so we need to get over the other side. But let's see what happens if we try. Oh, I remember what the statues do now. I remember. Oh, no! Yep. There's, there's some fuckery going on with these... Dungeons. So if we get off, it's going to go back up to the top. But if we go over... Just making sure there's no chests I'm missing. Uh, I don't think there is. We drop down the other side. Isn't that cool? I think it's cool. Okay. Go up the stairs. Oh, 
Back up to level two. And we've got to push this statue onto this little platform. Which means now we can go up to level three. I, I think this dungeon's really clever. So now we can get back across, which means we could. Now you get up the. Oh, maybe we don't need to. Yeah, I think maybe that just makes it easier to get back if you fall down or have to leave or something. Can I jump down? God damn it. Oh, maybe... Ah, that's how that's how we get back down. Unless... Oh, wait, no, the stairs. Dirt. I love this place. I love it. There we go. Right. What's going on on floor three? Just some more stairs. Any chests on this floor? I don't see any. We've got to check. We've got to be thorough. No, I don't think so. So things are going to start getting a little bit more complicated. Hmm. Looks like we have to go all the way up to level 5. Who, funnily enough, made this game. <laughs> and another bridge. Okay. And another seesaw. With a statue on the other side. So... Our only course of action seems to be to do what we did before. It's a pretty simple mechanic, gimmick, but I like it. I really do. Um, you know, it, it has its ups and downs, but it's it's pretty pretty solid. Uh, up here. Nope. That right, is the statue. Oh, I'm pushing you diagonally there. That's not going to work. Oh god. Have I, have I messed this up already? <laughs> have I messed this up? There we go. <laughs> Didn't know you could push him diagonally. to level six. Now I seem to remember there being a optional chest in here that you have to kind of mess around with the uh, statues to get, but I could be making that up. It just seems like something they would do. Because there is another statue thing there. How, do I, how would I have gotten round to the other... Can I drop down? No, I can't drop down there. There's nothing over here, so we must have to go back down. Okay. Ah, right. Okay, so... Well, we might as well open this. go and do we want to step on that yet yeah I think Let's just see what's yeah so we can get to the other side of that anyway 
question is, which side of the bridge do we want to put a statue? Uh, I mean, really, this side. So the other side, but there might be stuff over there that we want, so I don't really know. Uh, then again, how would we get a statue on this side? Because if we fall down, as soon as we step off, it's going to go back up. So now I think we the only thing we can do is push this over here and watch what happens. How cool is that? It's got its own stair lift. Wish we could go up the stairs like that. And it goes back down. Pushing these statues is kind of a faff. Nearly there. All right, okay. Kind of wish we were doing this at, uh, during the day. This place looks really nice during the day. I mean, it looks nice now, but I think I prefer it during the day. Are we actually nearly done with this place? Or is there a whole other section above us up that ladder? Because I seem to remember there being way more, like, involved puzzles in this place. And, and definitely more chests. So, we're about to find out. Level 7. Oh yeah, yeah, we ain't done yet. Well, there's a surprise. Making good progress, I see. Dude. That's Drippy. That's Drippy's voice. From Nino Kuni. That's totally Drippy's voice! I swear that was his voice. Now, when I played this last, I had played Nino Kuni, so I wonder if I had noticed that. I can't remember. That was totally Mr. Freaking Drippy! Lord High, Lord of the Fairies, and all that. God, Nino Kuni is such a good game. I actually just bought the, uh, finally bought the remaster because it was on sale. Uh, right, what are we doing here? Okay, more puzzles abound, lots of stairs. Know which way to go up first? But I mean. Building this place is very impressive, especially if it's just been one man. Can you imagine? Um, but getting around has got to be a real freaking pain in the tits. Uh, I don't think I can do much up here right now. Nope. Can I see any chests around? Ah, okay, so there's one over there. How we get to it, I'm not too sure. Yeah, imagine trying to, like, get your shopping up to the top of the tower. A bloody nightmare. Let's go up this one. Uh, so... Hmm. So if we go across here... It's still probably gonna go down, yeah. So if we take off one of the statues, we'll be able to go... Across.
cross. But if we take off the statue on the other side, we can go the other way, I'm guessing. I'm losing my bearings a little bit, yeah? Which staircase did I want to go up? Can I go up this one? Okay, so we got another statue. Ah, right. So that would get us up there. Is that where the chest is? Can't remember. Right, let's let's push this. Push it real good. Does this take me to the chest? Yes, it does. Excellent. Okay. And we get a recovery ring. All right, not too bad. Isn't that what we needed to make uh, a life bracer? I think so. Right, so let's go back up this way. Let's take the statue off this side. Let's see where that takes us. And then we can take the statue off this side and go over the other way. Yeah, that, I've, I've got it. I've got it. I understand. Uh, the question is, is this the right way to go? Uh, and what would be over the other side that we wanted? In fact, we could already go over there anyway, couldn't we? Pretty sure? Yeah, the stairs right there. No, it wasn't... Was there anything up there? Let me just quickly check. We might be okay to just press on. Is there anything up here? No, this is where I saw the um, the chest. No, okay, so there isn't anything up here, right? Okay, let's go see Drippy. I mean, uh, the Raiden dude. No, oh, actually, wasn't as. Bad as I remember it being. Well, I mean, assuming that we are done now. Level ten. Yeah, we're we're at the top. Okay, so we did it. Huh. I wonder. I wonder if I have missed a chest because I I could have sworn there was like a chest that I always remember like missing. Maybe it was the one that we just got. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let me just, uh... Yeah, he just... He doesn't mind living up here with all the monsters. I have no clue how they got up here. Uh, and yeah, I just ran past the ladder, but I'm just checking for any items. Uh, I don't see any. No. Nope. Right, let's go, uh... Have a word with him. Maybe he's building this just to get away from people, which I could totally I can totally relate to. Where is he? Oh there he is. Ah, we do have a chest. Ah, Charon's bow. Is that better than uh, your current one, Angelo? I mean, you've been using your current one for a long time. Uh, when used as an item in battle, this bow restores 30 or more HP to all allies. Oh, so that's kind of like a, a, a very low multi-heal. 
which would have been nice earlier in the game, but I don't think it's really useful, especially since we are going to learn multi-heal pretty soon anyway. Let's see. Is it better than what you have? It is. Ooh, considerably. Okay, new bow for Angelo. Nice. Right, guys. I think I'm actually going to end it here. We will talk to this uh, stonemason next time. Hopefully he will give us the crown spinels, and I'd like to know more about his story. So, thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it's one of my favorite dungeons in the game, and we've uh, we've just about done it. So, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you all take care, stay safe, look after yourselves, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.